I'm Mitchell Pugh. I'm from Crescent Springs, Kentucky. I like to do visual art. I don't know. That's my thing. I've kind of always done it. Like I started out really early and I was always told that I was like really good because I've never really liked like school. So I just was like, let me just make stuff. When I'm creating art, it's the only time where I feel like I can really be up to pace with how my brain's thinking. I really like to explore myself, obviously, with my art. I like to make pieces about thoughts that kind of take over everyday life for me. Anything that's kind of like stuck in my head for a while and I think about really deeply, I like, I want to put it into art. The recent piece I'm working on now, the future has themes of the state of the world and nature and how things are kind of falling apart in that aspect. And what's going to go on when you're an adult? What are you going to do with your life? Am I going to have love? Am I going to be successful? Am I going to go down a path that I really don't want to go down? Because I feel like I won't be able to live up to what I want in the future. I plan on going to art school after high school. Um, I'm thinking about UK's DAP program, but if I can't get that, you know, any old art school will work. When I first got here and they first said the thing, you are an artist, it kind of hit me. Wait, I have put all these years and all this time and effort into this thing. I already am an artist and I just need to keep doing it. That really cleared up the vision of like, oh, I don't need to worry about what I want to do. I just need to do what I want to do. <laughs> A lot of my life I've spent living for other people. I kind of want to be able to live how I always wanted to. I kind of feel like I would hurt myself, my inner self, if I didn't. In my own personal area where I live, art's never been appreciated. It's just kind of like, oh, it's art, oh, like it's decoration, or it's just something for fun. So it's like hard for people to just immediately deny that and just say like, oh, get a real job. That doesn't make sense to me because art is real to me. That would be the real job for me. It's just being an artist, and I don't see why people can't understand that whether it sounds like a crazy dream or not. Like, why not? Other people have done it. Why can't you? Oh, because you're not them? Well, where do you think they were? And why don't you try that? Whatever it takes, I hope I just get there eventually. And that's just all I want. <laughs> Without art, I do not think I would be living, honestly. Art is that one thing that I've always had, and it's like a security thing for me. Art is always something I can rely on, and it's always there. But without art, I don't think there'd be meaning in anything. When I see anything, I kind of try and see the beauty in it. I'll just look at something, I'll be like, can I make art with that? If I get really bored, oh, this looks nice, maybe I'll dip it in paint and I'll use that as a brush. Literally anything you can find. With skateboarding especially, that's been a way i found to express myself. You can see a spot. You kind of get this creative flow going. You're like, oh, I want to try this on this. I want to do this on this. I want to do this and then this and then get a line going. I have a skateboarding related series. I have like this surrealistic skate park ramp, quarter pipe, and it has kind of like a skateboard deck plug at the top. I've been really inspired by skate culture. When I started, it kind of pushed me into fashion. And fashion, honestly, one of the art forms that saved my life. I used to be really insecure about the way I looked. And when I found clothing, whoa, like this is, this makes me feel good about myself. And recently I've just been kind of hitting a point where like, I don't care and I can, can wear whatever I want, whatever kind of stereotype is on the clothing or kind of brings a lot of confidence and joy to me. Fashion is definitely one of my favorite ways to express myself. Cause I like to see everybody, what they're wearing today. And I'm like, oh, I like that. Oh, I would wear that especially coming from a Catholic school where you don't get much of that and you can't express yourself at all. Coming to this place like this and you can kind of go out all you want, it's like really freeing and it feels really good. Everyone is accepting. There's not a single person that's gonna like hate what you do. Everybody's just here for you. They're not gonna bash you. And I wish more places were like that. I'm really grateful that it's here at GSA. You don't feel like eyes looking at you and judging your every move. You just see people like ready to open and learn about yourself. I'm comfortable going up to anyone and asking them, what art form are you? Like, what are you doing here? Like, um, how are you enjoying it? I don't have any issues with that here. It's like a safe kind of little bubble, but it's like a nice one that's like good and it's, and it's um, building us all up, I feel like. I think this is one of the greatest experiences I've had in my life so far. And I kind of knew that going into it, but I was nervous because I was like, I'm going to be away from home for so long. And I'm like, uh, what if these people don't really like me? Or what if it's just like, not what everyone says. When I first got in here, I could kind of feel it. And I was like, well, this is going to be genuinely changing, life-changing for me. I've never seen myself constantly be working and constantly having ideas. It feels really nice to be constantly on this like creative high, I guess you could call it. Really great feeling, especially being surrounded by so many other people who are constantly creating and working as hard as I am. 
I'm really grateful for this experience and I think every day it gets just better and better for me. I believe that anybody can create art and I wish everybody to create more art. I think it just makes the world a better place. Live life to the fullest.